Today, I'm going to share with you on why I failed in one of my businesses. The lessons are worth its weight in gold. They're amazing, and I know they will bless you. So this business that I thought of was buying old, old, old cars, vintage Mercedes Benzes, and then making them into wedding cars. So that was the whole business concept. Why? Number one, because I like vintage cars. I like looking at them. I would go to a bookstore. I'd buy these, you know, old magazines that, that were all about vintage cars. They're just looking at the pictures. And then I would go online and just looking at the pictures it makes me feel happy. And so I said to myself, yes, you know, number one, I love old cars. Number two is that I had a little bit of money. You know, my, my, my other businesses were doing well. So I had a little extra money and I already invested in the stock market. Market, and there was a little bit of money. He said, you know, it's not too expensive anyway. You know, I saw one that was worth 50,000 pesos, an old junk, you know, uh, that, was, that was from 19 Kopong Kopong. And I said, okay, I buy it. And I bought another one. So I, I, in other words, I bought six of those old cars. Okay. <laughs> and I know it's foolish, like diving in, but, but I, I said, oh, I love old cars. Number one, number two, I had a little bit of money. And number three, I had a friend who who was willing to run it for me. I had no time. Of course, I was so busy with my ministry and my other businesses. And so I had this friend who said, yeah, yeah, I, I can run it for you. So so there, those three things fell into place. And I said, game. So as I said, I bought six of those old cars. And then it did not work. It basically failed. And I lost all my money. And here's the reason why. And these are the three lessons that I'm, I'm going to share with you. And I pray they'll be useful for you. Number one is you just don't need excitement for your business. You need expertise. It's not enough to say, I remember one conversation uh, from, from an, another friend. He, he, he wanted to get into the restaurant business. Brother Bo, I want this restaurant. I want this idea of going there every day and sitting down in the chair on the table, looking at the customers and sipping my coffee in my own coffee shop. And so I asked the question, you like to open the restaurant because you want to eat in restaurants? Yes, yes. You know, when I visit different countries, I, I eat in different restaurants. I enjoy it. <laughs> I raised my hand and I said, you know, I've learned the hard way that you don't, you, you know, passion is important, but you also need precision, proficiency. You ex Excitement is important for the business, for the product, but you need expertise. So here's my question. Have you worked in a restaurant before? No, of course not. Is it, you know, what I should have done was actually partner with an already an existing uh, bridal car business. I should have done that, you know, get more involved, talk to somebody who, who does the conversion of all these cars and, and making them into really, really beautiful. You know, I should have done that. I did not. And so there, that's lesson number one. Lesson number two is this. Um, you need more than money. You see, I, I wanted to start the business because I had some little money available. No, you need more than money. You need management. You need <laughs> to be able to run a business. And, and that's crazy. There, are, I've met a lot of OFWs who had a lot of, who had not a lot, but maybe a little money set aside. And, you know, they would go into business just because they had money. I, I want to warn you that having money in your hands, it's, it, it makes your hands itchy. And you want, you want to spend it. You, you want to, you know, invest it. And, and if you're not wise, you're going to invest it in something that's wrong. So that's, that's number two. And here's number three. Um, you just don't need people to, to run the business. You need the right people to run the business. My friend one day told me that he, he, he had a job offer. And I, I, I said to my, go, you know, so, so he, he got into that other job and there I, I lost the person who was going to run my business. The thing was this, I knew nothing of the business. You see, if I knew something about the business, if your manager goes away, um, you, I could have taken over. I could not. I could not. And so those are the lessons I just want to share with you today. At the end, it boils down to humility. You know, 
I failed because I was proud because and ignorant. <laughs> proud, pride and ignorance is one deadly cocktail. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it, it will destroy your business, your project. And so today, um, I'm going to invite you to think about why did you fail in whatever you're doing? And more often, it is because you did not acknowledge your inadequacy. You did not admit your weakness. I did not admit my weakness. I just had a little bit of money and I, I like the vintage cars, but I did not admit my, 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 my weakness, my glaring weakness that I knew nothing of that business. Zero. I knew nothing about how to make those cars into great cars. I did not know anything about that. And, and so there. Just wanted to share this with you. Our gospel for today is Zacchaeus who climbs up a tree. You know why? And Jesus sees him. You know why? Because he knew he was short. At least Zacchaeus knew he was short. If he did not acknowledge he was short, he would not climb that tree and Jesus would not see him and his life would not have changed. You need to know you're short for you to climb the sycamore tree. And for me, spiritually, that sycamore tree is a symbol of the cross the tree by which Jesus was crucified. For us to understand that we are weak spiritually and we need God. And that's why we can pray today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Say this with me, Lord, I give my life to you. I need you. I humble myself in front of you and I admit my weaknesses. Oh God, I need you in my life. I need you in my relationships, in my family, in my health, and in my job, in my businesses, in my finances. I need you. And Lord God, help me to be humble enough to know when I need help from other people. Oh Lord God, give me wisdom to make better decisions. In Jesus' name, amen. And in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining me. Listen to me. If you want to support this mission, be part of what we're doing, the exciting stuff that we're doing. Come and join me. Be a full tank supporter. All you have to do is if you're watching this through Facebook, click the link that says support now below the video. Or if in YouTube and you're watching this through a computer, click the button join and you become a full tank supporter. And I'll be able to send you Full Tank Saturday and Sunday is my way of saying thank you. God bless you. See you tomorrow.